Welcome to Healing Touch. What's happening? Our online service every Sunday at 11 a.m. Facebook Live. Zoom Bible study every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Weekly prayer conference call every Monday and Friday at 7 p.m. Well, good morning, everyone, and God's richest blessings to you and all that is in thine house. I thank God for this opportunity this morning to get into the Word of God with my dear friend and serving in the ministry, the great overseer, Pastor King. God, God bless you, brother. Thank you, Bishop. Good morning the to Bible you. The Bible tells us to esteem others better than ourselves, and thank I esteem you. you this morning. Thank you, You're sir. worthy of it. You're a man of God. You serve the Lord, and God bless you. Thank you, Bishop. And I want thank to you. thank you for tuning in with us today. It was a wonderful week this week. I thank God for how he brought us through again. Uh, we're still facing this pandemic that many are uncertain of, and we don't know the end of it, but we do know it's a devastating thing among humans. And I want to thank God that he has protected us. Yes. Let me just say, even right now, that God had a purpose from the creation. He knew the time. He knew the season. He knew it would be this time of our sojourn through the earth that this would happen. But God's got a purpose. Amen. Many people have said why they believe the pandemic is here. Many people have bought to our attention, some prophetic word from God, some not so pro prophetic, but uh, they say it's from God. But it's one thing that I found in the scripture, and we could say how much God is displeased with things, but there's one thing we, we left out of all the things that I've heard, and I'm not saying because I haven't heard it, someone hadn't mentioned it, but uh, I wonder how God feels about witchcraft. And that's something that we have downplayed here in America to a certain extent, but it's a very prevalent part of our society. When you find the work of God in any place being done, you're going to find the demonic kingdom working against it. Mm -hmm. And if we could get so relaxed and slack in our service of God because we have our church agendas and our uh, denominational pers perspectives, that does not stop Satan from doing his work. As we get into the book of Acts, you will begin to see that wherever God is working, Satan is right there too. And because we don't recognize him, because we fail to understand him, does not mean he's not there. It means we're being deceived. And I think now we should open our eyes and understand that Satan wants to destroy the work of God just like he wants to destroy all the people of God. Let's wise up people of God and let's hear what God is saying today from the book of Acts. That's Amen. the way we're going to begin today. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. This morning, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to begin in Acts chapter 8, kind of in way of a backdrop or to set the, the conditions or the scenes in Jerusalem at the time, as we covered, Stephen has just been martyred and the Saul was in the process of just wreaking havoc on the church in Jerusalem. And when we get to chapter eight, we'll see that the Bible says that on that day, there was a great persecution against the church in mm -hmm. Jerusalem. And, and I submit to you that that persecution that began against the church in Jerusalem on that day continues mm -hmm. even until this, this day. day. Yes, it's, it's you making a great point about the witchcraft because the word of God lets us know that the whole world lies in the sway of the, the wicked, wicked one. one. And so because the approach or the tactics of the enemy in the witchcraft and in his sorcery and so forth, it is not easily detected. Many would go about 
business as usual, mm -hmm. even in the church, not realizing what's really going on in the mm -hmm. heavenlies. Mm -hmm. In Acts chapter eight, we see here that the church was persecuted and the Bible says, and they were all scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, mm -hmm. except the apostles. The scattering was not coincidental mm -hmm. because when we read over in Acts chapter one, verse eight, Jesus said, and you will be my witnesses in Judea, Samaria, and throughout all the parts of the earth. So mm -hmm. it was something that did not catch God by surprise, first of all. Right. It was something that when Jesus told the apostles about restoring the kingdom, he says, it's not for you to know times or epochs and uh -huh. seasons. So this was divine, the, the designed by God so that his mm -hmm. word can go and accomplish in the places that Jesus said it would do. Mm -hmm. And what made this such a uh, unusual uh, occurrence was that normal behavior says if we're being persecuted for standing up for the church and being put in prison, mm -hmm. then if we have a chance to get away, we're gonna get away and not say anything. But mm -hmm. the Bible says they went about preaching, preaching. the word mm -hmm. of God. Now, that's when you know that you really have been set apart for the work of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Under any yes. and every circumstance, you do not allow those circumstances mm -hmm. to silence you mm -hmm. to where the word of God does not go forth. And the Bible goes on to let us see that Philip, <clears throat> excuse me, which in chapter six of Acts was one of the seven that was chosen. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he went down to Samaria and began proclaiming Christ. In other words, he was making known publicly the life, the ministry of Christ Jesus. And the, the word goes on to let us see that in verse six, that the crowds were on one accord and they were giving attention to what Philip said. And they heard and saw the signs which he was performing. Mm -hmm. When the Bible says it gave their attention, that means to hold the mind. Mm -hmm. It means that when we give our attention to something that for that moment, our mind is focused Focus in right on, on what is going on. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, it now becomes a part of us. Mm -hmm. Now, how it plays out, that's a whole nother story. But here again, the people received it. The Bible says they went about rejoicing <coughs> because of mm -hmm. what they heard mm -hmm. and they accepted Jesus Christ as mm -hmm. Lord and Savior. God, God is good. That is a great start, um, persecution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to start. What a way to encourage somebody is to, to, to persecute them like that. But mm -hmm. this is something that Jesus reminds us of. And we've heard it so many times about following Jesus. I believe everybody who is part of a church in some way, some denomination, um, some belief, regardless of what it is, I believe everybody think they're following Jesus. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really do. Mm -hmm. I believe that because this is the way we present ourselves. Serving God, as we will see in the book of Acts, is not just following Jesus, but it's giving our lives yes. for the cause. Yes. If your life isn't on the line, <clears throat> then you're not following him all the way. In, in Matthew 16, I just want to make, make this reference point. Matthew 16, after Peter's confession, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God, and Jesus told him, flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you. That comes mm -hmm. from my father in heaven. Mm -hmm. That is a revelation from God. Then he went on to say in Matthew chapter 16, from that time on, from that time, mm -hmm. from the time confed, Peter confessed, that's who he was. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 21 of Matthew 16, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem mm -hmm. and suffer many things from the elders, the elders, <laughs> the, 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 the elders. These were the respected leaders. These were not the priests. Mm -hmm. uh, these were the respected leaders. He said the elders and chief priests the chief priest, there was not the high priest, but they were the one that was set over the order of the priest. There were 24 different orders and the 
chief priest was one over that order. These, these were very high men in the church hierarchy at the time, the chief priests and scribes. My God, you would think this group of men were the one that would have the understanding of who Jesus was. That's right. The scribes were the interpreters. They were the ones, Ezra was a scribe, and they all followed that order of Ezra, but Ezra had set his heart to seek the Lord, and mm -hmm. things had got so much different at this time until it was all basically political. It was all outside of the bounds of the Holy Spirit now. Man has taken over. And, and they, they were, they were going to really do Jesus in mm -hmm. when he got to Jerusalem. And this is amazing what Peter says. And he began to rebuke him saying, God forbid it, Lord, this shall never happen to you. He, he wasn't talking about the resurrection. He's talking about the death. Mm -hmm. You're not going to die. Mm -hmm. And that's mainly because Peter couldn't see beyond death. Yes. He can only see as far as what his natural eyes could see. And he told Jesus, it's not going to happen to you. And Jesus turned to him in verse 23 and said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. He wasn't calling Peter Satan. Mm -hmm. What he was saying is, you being influenced by Satan, he was looking at Peter, but he was talking to Satan. Mm -hmm. He says, listen, listen, listen to me, Satan. You are a stumbling block, a scandalon. You are a stumbling block for me, to me. Mm -hmm. For you are not setting your mind on God's interest, but man's. Mm -hmm. You being motivated by the human mind and not the things of the spirit. Yes. This is what Jesus said to his disciples. If anyone wishes, mm -hmm. and I like this. <laughs> if anyone wishes, if anyone desires to do what? Come after me. Come after me. If anyone desires to come after me, I'm, I'm assuming that you really want to do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you desire to come after me, let him do what? Deny himself. Now that's, that's it right there. <laughs> let him deny himself. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like that word because it means to disown. Mm -hmm. The problem that we face in our society is people don't want to disown themselves. Until you disown yourself, mm -hmm. you can't disown anything else. We do what we do with our resources because we think we own them. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we do what we do with our life because mm -hmm. what? We think, we think we own it. Yes. And Jesus says, if you're going to follow me, you have to disown yourself. <laughs> it can't belong to you no more. As Paul said to the Corinthians, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God. You are not your own. As a child of God, as a Christian, I don't even belong to myself no more. Yes, I've yes. been bought with a price. Right. I belong to God. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit that I have from God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, what I am to do, glorify, glorify God. God. Jesus and I, mm -hmm. you're going to follow me. You're going to have to disown yourself and everything that comes with yourself. You, mm -hmm. you can't claim nothing, not even your own life. My it's God. not yours no more. And I said, now that's, that's, that's some qualification. He didn't say, you know, if you're going to come after me, join the church. That's <laughs> not what he said, but that's the way we interpret that's it. Right. Because yeah. everybody at church think they're going back with Jesus. Amen. But Amen. they don't want to give up themselves. I'm just telling you the truth, Amen. you know, the, 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 the facts of what it is. And Jesus says, if you got to take up your cross, mm -hmm. take up your cross, be prepared, what Jesus said, to share my death. You have to know every waking moment of your life, you have a cross. And any day, God could call upon you to face a situation where you might have to sacrifice your life. Mm -hmm. And what Jesus is saying is now, if you carry a cross, when Jesus picked that cross, when they put that cross on his shoulder, he was headed to one place. Yeah, yes. He wasn't going shopping. He was going to die. That's right. So That's when right. you carry the cross, that can never leave your mind. In the book of Acts, you brought it mm -hmm. out so, so, so wonderfully there. The first part of that mission, mm -hmm. those men were ready to give up 
everything. That's right. They were That's following right. Jesus. Yes, sir. They were actually carrying a cross. Mm -hmm. Any day now, they didn't know whether they were going to live or die. As Paul mm -hmm. says in 2 Corinthians, he, he brought us to the end of ourselves mm -hmm. so we wouldn't trust in ourselves. We despaired even of life. We didn't know if we was going to live or die. Yes. I, but he was ready to give up his life. I counted all loss for the excellence of Christ Jesus. Yes. If we're going to follow God the way these men did in the book of Acts, mm -hmm. get your cross, give up your life, mm -hmm. and let's walk with Jesus. Amen. 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 And to hear that said, Bishop, we have to first come to understand that it goes against our humanity. It goes against our human nature. Yes. It's not something that we can just wake up one morning and say, you know what, I'm going to surrender all. We can say it, but how do we carry that out? That's, that's Unless the Holy Spirit is there to guide us, and uh -huh. he is, then and only then can we actually have this total separation yeah. of self. Right from right. self so that we can follow Christ. We can, yes, sir. So, and the other thing we have to be mindful of as we go back over to Acts chapter eight, Bishop, is that when the word of God is going forth, it has no respect of person. And we'll see that not only did the crowd, the Samaritans, receive and hear the word that mm -hmm. Philip was teaching, but there was another individual that the Bible mentioned by the name of Simon. Yes. And Simon, you know, he was an interesting guy because when we look at the total mm -hmm. totality of chapter eight, we have the Samaritans, we have Simon, and we have the Ethiopian unit. And we can simply say one out of every three that hear the word of God it's not going to accept the word of God in its truth mm -hmm. for what it is and what mm -hmm. God has designed it to do. Mm -hmm. Because when we look at Simon, Simon was someone in this region that had built the name for himself. Yes. He thought that people thought that Simon was that guy. They even said that he, they call him the great power of God. Wow. Because Simon had a way of here again, grabbing people attention. Mm. And we, we, we don't give enough credit to what happens when we give our attention to things and mm -hmm. to people. It does have an effect on us. It may not play out in that mm -hmm. moment. But if you keep giving your attention to things that are contrary mm -hmm. to the life of that of a Christian and that mm -hmm. which is contrary to, word, to the word of God, mm -hmm. it's going to impact your character. Yeah. It's going to impact the way you look yeah. at things. And it's going to play out in many in every area of our lives. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what happened with Simon. Mm -hmm. Simon, the Bible says that they was giving him their attention because he had astonished them around verse, I'm at with verse 11. Magic. Yeah, with his magic arts. Uh -huh. Magic arts. Well, what is magic arts? Mm. Magic arts is sorcery. So that goes right back to how we began this segment of our teaching mm -hmm. about witchcraft. Mm -hmm. It was going on then and it's going on today. Yes, sir. It was, it was, it was introduced early here with uh, Simon. Philip it went down to Samaria. He was preaching, but Simon the sorcerer was there, and that's all the people believed. Mm -hmm. uh, throughout the scripture, God actually admonishes us to know the difference between mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and what I would call a demonic spirit. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, even sir. in the book of Deuteronomy, as the children of Israel was, was, was being introduced to God as they come out of, of, of Egypt, mm -hmm. God wanted them to understand, if you want to know something, mm -hmm. I'll speak to a prophet. Yes. yes. You know, in, in Deuteronomy 18, he said, the Lord thy God shall raise up a prophet like unto me. This is, you, you know, and every soul does not listen to that prophet, referring to Jesus, shall be mm -hmm. cut off from among the people. Mm -hmm. And it's something about human nature. We want to know the future. We, yeah. we want to know. And <clears throat> I remember a while back, they had these 800, 900 numbers yes. you call. And yes. those people made billions of dollars. Yes. 
And mm -hmm. I want to put on record today that everybody called that number was not a sinner. Mm -hmm. You had mm -hmm. some of God's people God. trying to know the future mm -hmm. without actually seeking God. Mm -hmm. And to God, he, he, he let, let them know the secret things belong to the Lord, Amen. but the things that are revealed, they belong unto us, that we may do all the words of this book. Yes. So you're going to find demonic action throughout the scripture. And I believe it's one of the silent things today, but it's so prevalent. Yeah. Why is our country in so much confusion mm. and God is not the author of That's confusion? That's right. Why is there such a divide? Why is all of these activities going on that we are not even aware of the depth of them? Mm -hmm. And I really believe when we say what God is tired of and what's going on in America, let's take a look at, at witchcraft. Let's go behind the scenes yes. and see what's going <clears throat> on. Because um, I'm, we, we, we're not there yet, but mm -hmm. you're going to run into witchcraft right out through Acts here. Mm -hmm. You get to the book of, 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 you get to chapter 19 of the book of Acts, and you're going to see something very, very amazing here. Yes. The apostle Paul stood against it in, in Ephesus so strong. And mm -hmm. I, I took a little time, and I want to know what was going on in Ephesus, so mm -hmm. tell. Um, this, 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 this thing was so heavy on Paul, when he wrote his letter to the Corinthians, he says, I fought against wild beasts yes. in Ephesus. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that, that was really, really something. But Ephesus was a demonic capital of the world at yes. that time. That's right. I That's mean, right. That, was, that was a real hot spot for mm -hmm. demonic activity because everything that was a thing was welcome to Ephesus. Yes. You, a soothsayer, astrology, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. we, we want to talk about that a little bit too. You'd be surprised if people believe in astrology. Right. If you mm -hmm. want to know something, God will speak to you. Yes. Yes. He, he's got his word. You don't have to search outside of God for anything. Amen. Amen. It's, it's, it's right in the word. All sorts of things was going on in Ephesus. Mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the, the demonic capital of the world, you had soothsayers there, you had all sorts, you had uh, sorcerers and everybody who did anything mm -hmm. outside of God was in Ephesus. Yes. Yes. Because Diana was there, that's what the Romans called her, mm -hmm. one of the seven wonders of the world. The temple of Artemis was there. That just wasn't a temple where people went to worship. Now, it, it tells me a little bit about the demonic world when you read this because Artemis controlled the financial center. You couldn't, you couldn't borrow money or do anything unless you went to the temple of Diana. Yes. She had the land, she had the money, and this is what the devil really want to control. Mm -hmm. The evil spirits want to control everything you have. And that's why I do my best to do what God say do. That's my only protection. Yes, sir. It's, it's what yes. God say do. Mm -hmm. And it was so demonic, everybody and everything was in Ephesus. Mm -hmm. Paul was his spirit filled self comes to Ephesus. My God. Mm -hmm. And it's on. Yes. Now you got to battle with same thing. Yes. You have Simon the sorcerer. Mm -hmm. You got Philip the man of God filled yeah. with the Holy yes. Spirit. Yes. It's a showdown. Yes. That's right. It's a showdown. <laughs> and here it is today. But because there is very little attention given to it, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the world lies in the sway of the wicked one. Mm -hmm. It's like he has blinded the minds of those who believe not. There's very little attention given to those spirits because mm -hmm. People think because they're in a lot of confusion in, in, the, in, the, in the place going on, everything's okay. Mm -hmm. But he knows how to just, just get people to think that they're all right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an illusion. It's a deception yes. is what yes. it is. Yes. He deceives. Mm -hmm. He deceives. And Jesus said if it were possible, he would deceive even, even the very elect. It's mm -hmm. not going to ease up. It's going to get worse mm -hmm. and worse. But mm -hmm. we have to watch the smoothness. If you are not under attack, if nothing is really, really uh, going beyond what I call the limits, something is wrong. If you can't know that you're doing anything for God, you're going to be attacked by the, the spirits of darkness. You're going to be attacked if you're doing anything for God. Because Satan is not going to sit back and let anything God promotes progress. He's yes. not going to do it. Yes. And it's yes. the same way it was. When Paul got to Ephesus, 
it, I mean, it seemed like the demonic world showed out. Mm -hmm. But the man was full of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Paul Amen. had something there. Mm -hmm. Paul started preaching and people started burning them books. And, yes. and I t you, you should read Acts <laughs> chapter 19. It, it, it was something. It yes. was something. And the very same thing. He went there and everybody, they were selling their little, little trinkets. They were mm -hmm. selling their little idols. And Paul came in preaching them against idols. They are nothing. And I said, man, my God, they, they, they locked him up. Yeah, yeah. They, but wanted, Bishop, they, when you, they wanted to get this man out of town. Yeah. When you say that, it's, I, I'm, I'm thinking or I'm hearing as it was in day of, days of old, so it is today. Yeah. yeah. Except yeah. the enemy has presented in such a way that the, our same economy, our same financial system yeah. is under the same type of attack. It's just being disguised to fit the times that it, we're it, in. It's just being disguised. And it's being disguised because here it is, people think they own. Yes. And as yeah. long as you got it, Satan can take it. Mm. But when God is in it, that's okay. when the struggle began. Yes. But yes. then I have his word that he will take care of me. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to be attacked. Let's, yes. let's face it. Why? Because yes. I'm with God. You're with God, yes. I, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. following Jesus. I'm going to be attacked. The same way Paul was, same way Philip was, I'm going to be attacked. Anybody Amen. following Jesus is going to be attacked. Amen. It's got Amen. nothing to do with anything but your walk with God. So mm -hmm. you look at what the Bible says to us about Ephesus, and Paul wrote this, when he wrote to him, what he talked about, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. Mm -hmm. Put on mm -hmm. the whole arm of God. Yeah. Who is he talking to? He's talking to people that was in the demonic capital of the world. Mm -hmm. And they, they had to get Paul, they had to get him out of town. Yes. Because he was turning people to Jesus. Mm -hmm. He was turning people to Jesus. But there's a deception that I believe that have come to a lot of people because they can't seem to identify identify That's right. what's That's going right. on around them. So he wrote to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 30 through 32. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's, that's a chapter about the, the, the resurrection. Mm -hmm. listen, listen to what he says to the Corinthians in uh, chapter 15, verse 30 through 32. I want to read it here. Okay. He says, why are we also in danger every hour? Mm -hmm. listen, listen, listen to what he's saying. Mm -hmm. We're in danger what? Every, every hour. hour. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know, that's, that, that means on a regular daily basis yes. is what he's saying. <laughs> I affirm, verse 31, I affirm, brethren, by the boasting in which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord, I die daily. daily. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I die daily. Now, we can't mm -hmm. take that out of his context. He's not talking about, you know, I have to crucify myself every day. Mm -hmm. he, he said, I, I die daily. Mm -hmm. Now watch, watch what he said. Do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals. Do not be deceived. Bad communication corrupts good morals. That's mm -hmm. verse 33. Mm -hmm. But before he said that, yes. he yeah. said in verse 32. Mm -hmm. If from human motives mm -hmm. I fought with wild beasts at Ephesus, mm -hmm. if it was only human motives yeah. that yeah. I fought with them, he asked him a question. Yeah. I had to believe something to yeah. engage in him. This is what, really, really what he's saying. <laughs> now, if I'm going to follow Jesus, I have to believe something. Amen. I, Amen. I have to be more than a church member. No, I, I, I can't follow Jesus just believing that I'm following Jesus. Mm -hmm. He says, if from human motives I fought with wild beasts at Ephesus, what does it profit me? Yeah. If I didn't believe something, mm -hmm. glory to God. Yeah, if good. I didn't have something, why would I engage with false beasts at Ephesus? Mm -hmm. Listen to what the apostle said. He says, if the dead are not raised. Uh -huh. Now, if I don't have something to look forward to, <laughs> what am I doing? That's right. You know, these mm -hmm. men were in trouble mm -hmm. that you, you talked about. Mm -hmm. Philip. Yes. Stephen was stoned mm -hmm. because he believed in the resurrection. That's right. I believe whatever happened to me, I'm going to get out that grave one day, man. Amen. Amen. Other than that, what, 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 what do I want to engage myself for? Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. have to believe that resurrection is so powerful. And this is what Peter didn't want Jesus uh, to, to, to accept. And Jesus says, hey, listen, 
the, the, the resurrection in the end, it's just the beginning. Yes. It's yes. just the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, you telling me that's not going to happen. It's got to happen. Yes. <laughs> it's got to happen. So why are we afraid to give up our life? Why are we afraid of evil spirits? They're afraid of us. Right. Wow. Wow. If the dead does not raise, what am I doing? Well, let's mm -hmm. eat and drink tomorrow we die. This is what he said. We might yeah. as well just sell out to our passion then. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. I'm going to die and it'll all be over with, yeah. I'm, let, me, let, me, let me go have yeah, some shut fun. Shut the church down and let's Shut it go down, on. let's go. <laughs> but then he makes it very clean. Yes. He says, don't, don't be deceived. Be deceived. Mm -hmm. Bad communication, what? Corrupts good Corrupts morals. Corrupts good manners. Yeah. And then over in chapter 16, he makes another reference. Mm -hmm. He says, but I will remain in Ephesus. See, he stayed there. Mm -hmm. Verse 8, mm -hmm. 68, I will remain in Ephesus until Pentecost. Uh -huh. For a wide door for effective service has opened to me, and there are many adversaries. adversaries. I'm walking in the midst of those adversaries, and mm -hmm. I'm going to do what God told me Amen. to do. Amen. He said, I'm going I'm to remain. You're yeah. not running me out. Mm -hmm. You're not going to stop me from following mm -hmm. Jesus. You mm -hmm. can take whatever you want to take, yeah. even my life, because right. I've been promised that Ooh. Jesus said, I'm going to give it back to you. My Ooh, God, Jesus. my God. And, and this, this is the way the church have to think. All these things that, that, that we read about, we get to back chapter 8, all these things we're thinking about and we're talking about now, Jesus promised us that we're going to live eternally with him. Amen. Not like Amen. What, 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 what David said in one of the Psalms, he put it this way. He says, you promised me. Mm -hmm. Now fulfill your promise. Wow. Wow. Now when a man could be so close to God, I read this psalm, <laughs> you promised me. Yes. Okay, now fulfill your promise. That's good. I'm in That's the good. midst of a hell hole here, God. Mm -hmm. and, and Paul was just sold out. That's what I want the church to get from these messages from Acts. Mm -hmm. Sell out to God. Amen. If Amen. God opened a door, you walk in it. Mm -hmm. I don't care who's in there. He said, mm -hmm. and there are many adversaries. Mm -hmm. If God tell you to forget yourself, deny yourself, sell out yourself, do it. Mm -hmm. If God say he know what you have need of before you even ask him, then sell out to God. That's Amen. the message Amen. I want to bring from the book of that. Amen. Sell out to God. Mm -hmm. It was never promised you that being a Christian is a life of luxury, mm -hmm. a life of having everything you want, saying what you want, doing what you want, calling the shots. <laughs> Please don't be deceived by this. Amen. Please don't. Amen. You belong to God. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. being a Christian does not mean it's going to be easy, but yes. it means it's going to be for eternity. Yes, yes. You're going to live with Jesus. I, yeah. I didn't mean to take up. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's <laughs> awesome, Bishop, because that you sum, to sum it up in one word, it means we have to believe. We have to believe. We have to believe. You, and, and, that's and, right. And this is what here back in chapter 8 of Acts, the Samaritan crowd, they gave their attention to Philip's teaching, and the Bible said, and they believed. And they believed. Philip then... And has his encounter with Simon. Uh -huh. Even Simon believes. Simon got saved. Even the source. <laughs> so that lets us know it doesn't matter what our yesterday was. That's right. The decision we make today is that, going to be a better, right. puts us in position for a better tomorrow. I like should that. the Lord see fit, being that there is no promise for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But if we allow our yesterdays to hold us back from accepting the whole counsel oh, of God's God. word, then we do ourselves Ooh. an injustice. Simon, on the other hand, because he had the nature like many of us, he was accustomed to being, quote unquote, somebody. Mm -hmm. And then being somebody to come now and hear the truth of God's word, which would diminish him in the eyes of people, mm -hmm. he had a hard time. As you said, he, he, it was difficult for him to bear his cross. Mm -hmm. It was difficult for him to pick up his cross because he looked for a way to try to believe what he heard mm -hmm. and hold on to that status yeah. he was accustomed to. He had to give it up. He had to give it up. <laughs> he was willing to go as far as the Bible says when the apostles came down to Samaria, uh -huh. Peter and, and, and John, and they laid hands on the those that were prayed for around verse 15 of Acts chapter eight. Um, 
Simon was one. He wanted to know. Let me go down to verse 18. The Bible says, now, when Simon saw that the spirit was bestowed through the laying on of the apostles hands, he offered them money. It's just like the things today in our society today. We believe that money could get you your, your influence. You it gets you whatever you and want we believe in this that. world. And the sad indictment is that it appears that it is able to do just that. Mm -hmm. Regardless on the national level, on the mm -hmm. world level, we there's such a, a, a monetary influence yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. until the, the social side is just left by the wayside. Mm -hmm. Simon, in order to hold on and grab for more, asked how much how, this costs. Yeah, how much this, <laughs> let's, let's just put it in layman's term. How, how much do I have to pay for this? Yeah. And he says, giving this, this authority to me as well, so that everyone whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. It had nothing to do with bringing glory to God. Nothing. It nothing. was so that he can continue to astonish people and hold on to who his status, to his reputation. status, to his reputation. Mm -hmm. And people of God, this is one thing we have to be willing to let go of mm -hmm. as we follow Christ. What is it about my life that is so great outside mm -hmm. of Christ that it will warrant me or you or anyone mm -hmm. else anything? That's right. Yeah. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world? No, that's the word. Lose his soul. That's the word. But that's that's wonderful. Simon wanted to buy. Mm -hmm. the power to lay his hand on people they receive the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That was a yeah. new one to him. Boy. Yeah, yeah, that the was a new one. The devil trying to give people the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Man, that's a new one there. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's, that's so wonderful. Peter and John came down and laid hands on the people and mm -hmm. uh, they might receive the Holy Spirit because yeah. he had not yet fallen. That's right. Mm -hmm. on, on them. They had simply been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. This is what happened when he got to Ephesus. Mm -hmm. When he mm -hmm. saw the, the, the disciples of John the Baptist, have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? They yes. said, we, 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 we haven't even heard of such a thing, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. But yeah. You, you find, and in, in just to get off track for just a little bit, you will find that some were baptized, received the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Some had hands on them and received yes, the Holy Spirit. Yes, so yes. it's just not one particular way mm -hmm. that people receive the Holy yeah, Spirit. It all, that's, that rests with the sovereignty of God yeah. and the Holy Spirit. I got a call once uh, from this, this, uh, this person and they wanted to know why I didn't um, teach people how to receive the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I said, well, who taught the people at Pentecost? <laughs> at Pentecost? Who taught them? That's right. That's right. Uh, they had been used to this church where you tell people just to start moving your mouth and mm -hmm. just let the Holy Spirit take over. I said, if they didn't teach them on the day of Pentecost, then I have no model to follow. Yes. Amen. The only model we have to follow is in, the, the, word. Is in the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very, very important to understand that God will give you what you need. Amen. He will give the Holy Spirit, the Bible says to them that ask. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 as we get into the book of Acts, we'll, we'll, we'll begin to see that. But I really want to point out, make this point. Yes. God looks for us to make up our minds to follow him regardless mm -hmm. Mm -hmm of what the circumstance or the situations are. Amen. Amen. You got to make up your mind to follow you. Mm -hmm. All of this, you can have what you say, you can have what you want, you can create your own world. I don't know where it originated from, mm -hmm. but it doesn't sound like Bible to me. My God. I'm quite sure if Paul could have did it differently, he would have did it differently. Mm -hmm. But he made it perfectly clear, I've sold out everything for the excellency of Christ Jesus. When he got that revelation about Jesus, he gave up everything. Mm -hmm. And that's what God expects for us to do. Yes. When yeah. we get that revelation, mm -hmm. sell out everything. Yes. And Amen. follow Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know, the psalm says, uh, I surrender all, mm -hmm. all to thee, I, I surrender. surrender. It's more than just a song. It has to be a declaration yeah. of our lives. Yes. And today, better than is, is a is better than any other time is a great opportunity for us to make that declaration individually over our lives and in our lives. I surrender, I surrender all. all. Yeah. And God has already 
for giving us the paraclete, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, to come alongside us mm -hmm. and to help walk us through how it is and to walk through this world or this life mm -hmm. in such a way that it would bring glory to God. Yes, that's, 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 that's wonderful. Now, before we close out, here's, here's, here's something we want you to take with you. God calls us to serve him. Amen. He calls us to be his servants in whatever way he chooses to use us. It may not all be in a church. It may be in a foreign land. He may use you, may use you to suffer for him. Just like he told Ananias when he told him about the apostle Paul, before Paul even was apostle, he told him to go lay your hands on him. He's a chosen vessel of mine. Yes, and yes. I will show him the things he must suffer for my name's sake. We're all chosen vessels of God. And let's just sell out to him and let him use us any way he wants to. Amen. Let's not be church members. Let's be disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever forces a spirit you face, remember the greater one lives in you. Amen. Great is he that is in me Glory than he that is in the world. Amen. I want us to pray for America. I want us to pray for this country. I want us to pray for the spirit of darkness that seemed to, to captivate people's mind and lead mm -hmm. them astray and turn one group against another group and one uh, political perspective against another. It's not about that. Yes, right. It's about yeah. living for the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's about living for the Lord Jesus. It's about living so that we can go back with Jesus and we will not let these evil spirit and forces deter us from selling out to Jesus. Simon was a sorcerer. Philip mm -hmm. was one of the seven there in the, in, in the book of uh, uh, Acts. Mm -hmm. A deacon, that's what they call him. Uh, mm -hmm. But you have uh, Stephen was one of the seven, mm -hmm. martyred for his faith. Philip, mm -hmm. being filled with the Holy Spirit, went down to Samaria and, and confronted mm -hmm. a, a demon yes. in Simon. Uh, mm -hmm. But also, we, 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 we look at Acts chapter 8, there's a, so most situations happening there because yes. the Spirit took Philip and took him to another job he had for That's him to right. do. And That's we'll right. talk about that next week. So when God, when yes. God is using you, yes. he's used you by his power and by his spirit. Amen. And I want to thank you for everything you're doing to advance the kingdom. Thank you for allowing God to use you. Sell out, give, give, give it all to God. I bought nothing into this world, and it's for certain I'm going to carry nothing out. That's it right. all belongs to God. And as I listen to him, He's going to provide and he's going to take care of us. He's going to do it because he said he was going to do it. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you so much. But let's, let's go with this thought. You're a servant of God. It may not be easy, mm -hmm. but he promised you he'll never leave you nor forsake you. God is with you. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for this time together. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word. Even though it may look dark some days, even though, God, there may be days of uncertainty, but one thing is for sure, you are with us. Yes, God. You are with us, Lord God. I come against every demonic force and power that seeks to overthrow your people and your ministry. In the blessed name of yes, Jesus, yes, we God. stand together. We stand together in faith, believing that no weapon that's formed against us going to prosper. My God. In the blessed name of Jesus, yes, you are with us always, yes. even to the end of this age. Show yourself strong in our midst. In, the name of in Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God is with you.